This is why my first video is when things don't go to plan because a lot of things in uni, even when you're there, don't go to plan. Hi guys! So today we're gonna be- I'm sorry, no. <laughs> okay, so let's just get straight into it. When results day goes wrong. So, sometimes results day does not go right. So, one. <laughs> get prepared make sure you've got all the numbers of other universities and even your first university and your insurance university on hand so that when you know your grades or when you know what uni you've gone into you can go directly to the unis ask for some changes and try to see if you can get into where you want to get into um, make sure that you're preparing yourself don't think about other people oh what if we don't get into this university to get together what if um, I don't know my parents are proud of me because I didn't get this grade it's not about them it's about you it's about you so basically it's all about preparing those plan B's and C's and one thing I'd say is to wake up early, don't do all-nighters. I know so many people who did all-nighters and I promise you, just like Christmas Day, it will take a lot longer for that day to come if you're staying up worrying. So just go to bed and wake up when you know your results are out. Number two, it's results day. You have opened up your results and you've gotten into your first choice. I don't know why you're watching this video if you've gotten to your first choice because you're fine. You either got the grades or maybe you're just slightly under but you still are able to get in you still going to your university so you're fine point three. point three you got your insurance you're still going to uni it's great but you have to really really deep what your insurance was to you was your insurance a placeholder because i might as well put something as my second option or is it a university that you would actually enjoy going to because if it isn't then maybe you should consider dropping yourself into clearing and trying to get into the uni that you wanted to because it's always still possible or you can um, maybe look at other options, other unis. Really don't force yourself to go into your insurance just because you chose it as your insurance. It's not by force. This is point four, the possibility that you didn't get into your first choice, you didn't get into your second choice. I know the first thing you're gonna do then is the panic. Think, oh my gosh, what am I going to say? But just breathe. If you've already done the preparation before results day, you know you have numbers to the universities that you wanna go to and you know you have details, you know you have your plan B and your plan C. So you need to just relax and think about what you can do. So obviously you've got four options if you didn't get into any university. One is to consider retaking, which everyone at A-level I'm pretty sure can still re can retake. Um, so that's definitely an option and maybe even get into a better uni. Um, or just do better in whatever you feel as if you, the thing is if you retake it means that you know what you've done wrong the year before and then perfect perfect guys all around me are familiar faces you know the teachers already literally you're going back into an environment that you understand and you know where you need to improve on the second thing you can do is take a break you can take a year out Again, that might be to retake, that might be to think of other options, maybe an apprenticeship, an internship, or look into other unis in more depth and have time instead of being the big rush. Do something in your year off, go volunteering, travel. These are things that are great on a CV. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. one thing I have to say about university, you can't leave university with just a degree. Hey, hey, <laughs> come you on, say that again, preach, now goes preach. To university. So just because you took a year out does not mean that you are at a disadvantage at all you might even be at an advantage because the people that i know who took years out had amazing experiences swear down swear 100 mm. percent clearing so clearing is obviously what a lot of people go through after um not getting accepted in the unis that they want or not getting accepted in a uni and all you have to do is release yourself into clearing. The university throws so much. Clearing is a battle, right? This is why I'm saying you need to be prepared before results day just in case something doesn't go the way you think it should have. Because in all honesty, everybody, there's, there's so many people who are like you. You are not by yourself. Even if you feel like Bob and John, they all got into the universities that they wanted to. There's, a, there's thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people who are on clearing 
trying to get the same places as you. So it is a bit of a battle, but still breathe and take your time, don't rush. So a lot of things that can happen in clearing. One, you could actually end up getting into the university, onto the course that you originally wanted as your first choice, because they kind of have a quota, they need a certain, they're gonna take in a certain amount of people who didn't get the grades, that's just how it works. So you still might get into it. Sometimes it's just about picking up the phone, talking to them, and sometimes if you make a connection with that person on the phone who's from that department, you can get in. Like, it's never, never too late. Two, you can look at other universities, look at the modules again, see, oh, maybe there's this uni who does that do um, a degree similar to mine. Make sure to properly look at the modules. So for example, let's say you chose to do psychology, you didn't get in. They might have a choice to do psychology and criminology, right? I'm saying what you said to me. Yeah. Um, and you might assume that there'd be a lot of criminology in there, for example. But if you maybe have a bit of interest in it, there's a chance that you it might be 10% criminology and 90% of everything that you Trust really me. wanted to do. Lots of like that. Sometimes you can even drop the minor in the second year as well. So if you're not directly in the degree that you wanted, it doesn't matter. Hold on, let me say something. What, the name of the title of the degree? Yeah. yeah. Listen, you guys, <laughs> the title of the degree name does not mean that, because there's so many other like degree titles that are different in it, oh, but like, what's in the context of what your modules are, could be exactly the same mm. the pe between these degrees. So for example, I study, I study management with sustainable and ethical business, mm. right? But the modules that I study is exactly the same as um, American studies with management. So the same thing, yeah, but they do a year abroad. What? <laughs> a I year abroad? <laughs> what? First, the goal is to when you get into uni, you can change your mm. degree very yeah, easily. In the first Once few weeks, I changed my degree in the first few weeks. Yeah. yeah. Point five. And this is the biggest point. If results day doesn't go right for you, the world still turns. Like, the world will still revolve, you're still alive, and, and making it so deep, but it's actually not that deep. Like, you have been judged on an exam, a few exams, an hour showing the potential that you have that shows nothing of all the effort you put into things. So as long as you know you put all your effort and everything into those exams and maybe you still didn't receive what you thought you should you already won you already did the best that you possibly could could do yeah could do yeah so honestly do not worry another thing i want to say is that if you didn't get into your dream uni it doesn't mean you didn't get into the best uni for you You've imagined what your university, your favourite university, is going to be like. You've said, oh, it's going to be like this. I'm going to be a part of these societies. I'm going to do these modules. I'm going to love this campus. But you actually have no idea what the uni you wanted to go get into was going to be like. And for that reason, you haven't really missed out on anything. You've missed out on a dream that was never actually real. And you never know the other uni that you end up getting into, or even the apprenticeship that you end up doing, might have been the best thing for you. Because when it comes to education, especially heading to uni, you're on this train. And I feel like when it comes to results day and it doesn't go right, people feel as if they've been derailed. You haven't been derailed, you've been diverted. The journey still continues. It's just about maybe taking a longer route, taking a different journey. But in the end, if you put work into it, you're gonna get to where you want to get to. So, I mean, that's my two cents. More than anything, I just wanna wish you some good luck um, on your exams. If you haven't finished them by now, by the time this video is up, um, and I really hope that your results today does go to plan. But if it doesn't, everything is 100, 100% fine. So that's been me, Benny D, on the TV. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, and share if you actually enjoyed this video. If you didn't, then you can dislike it. Like I don't really mind. Random. Just <laughs> zoom in your face. Yes. Go. Hi guys. So today we're gonna be talking about stuff. Yeah. That's is actually yeah. Yeah, sexy. Okay. How's the angle? The angle's beautiful. Okay, oh, it's perfect. Like, bring the laptop closer if you're gonna be able. To, if you're gonna be thing. Uh, yeah, I don't want you leaning forward because this is like if you move any more forward, any more backwards, it won't be right. Okay, it's already recording, so this will go start when you when you're ready. It's already recording. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no stress. I'm so broke. 